content download on our one of our Moto Z3 devices using the 5G Moto Mod on Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network. Um, so just to set the stage for you here, we're at the airport, we're about to board a really long flight, everybody needs their, their content, their entertainment. Suddenly the gate agent comes over the PA system and says, this notification here, the Wi-Fi is down, there's no entertainment on board. So what does everyone do? Pull out your phone, start downloading all your favorite shows, all your favorite movies, make sure those playlists are in offline mode. Of course, with today's technology, this really overloads the network, puts a lot of strain on 4G. 5G is going to really dramatically change that experience with you know, much faster speeds on smartphones. Um, and there'll be a lot of other applications as well that will take advantage of the greater broadband capacity and lower latency, like uh, mobile cloud gaming. You'll get um, seamless video streaming, especially in crowded events with tens of thousands of people. Right now, you can't get a signal. With 5G, that'll make these, these new experiences a reality. Um, Motorola's been working very closely with our partners Qualcomm and Verizon um, over the past months to bring this solution to consumers faster with our ModoMod technology. Motorola has a history going back 90 years of radio frequency innovation and this continues with the 5G ModoMod on our, our ModoMod platform. So for those of you who, who haven't seen our ModoMod before, it's an, a whole ecosystem. You have about 15 commercial devices right now on the market that take anything you can do on a smartphone and make it really incredible. So for example, this is a speaker we developed jointly with JBL. You can snap this onto the back of your Moto Z3 magnetically and instantly whatever sound you're playing on the phone, whatever music, comes out through these beautiful speakers. You get a much richer, fuller sound. We have a lot of other mods to, to cater to other experiences. If you're into photography, we have a 360 camera right here. We have a Polaroid printer. Um, if you're into movies, this is a projector um, that actually can project 70 inches onto the wall. So with 5G, we're really bringing the fulfillment of this promise of what a modular smartphone can do by bringing completely new technology to the phone faster than you could on a standalone phone itself. The Moto Z3 we announced back in August, you can buy it at Verizon right now for $10 a month for the holidays. When we, when we release the 5G Moto Mod early in 2019, it'll turn this phone that's 4G right now into a 5G device, which is really incredible. It's only possible through our Moto Mod technology. So I'm gonna turn it over right now to Doug to actually run through the content demo. Thank you, Chris. So right here up we have a 5G modal mod. The 5G modal mod itself has a Snapdragon 855 processor plus the X50 built in. That ensures obviously the 5G speed. It also has a 2000 milliamp hour battery, and to make this the best 5G experience, it actually has 10 antenna systems in the device. Of the 10 antenna systems, four of them are millimeter wave antenna systems to ensure no matter what environment you're in, you're always going to have the greatest 5G ultra wideband experience. The antennas themselves give a whole 360 spherical view, so whether you're holding the phone in portrait mode or if you're holding it in landscape mode, you're always going to have at least two antennas free to see that 5G node. Um, on the device itself, uh, it's, it's, it's very simple to use. <laughs> Basically, you just snap the device, so right now we're on LTE, snap the device to the phone itself, and now it's going to register on the 5G ultra wideband network we have set up in this venue right here today. Now, the network we have set up at this venue is a pre commercial network, one that was set up just in a couple of days. It is not meant to showcase the, the fastest speeds of 5G. Now, so I'm going to show a couple of demos here today, but ultimately we do expect 5G to be 10 times the speed of LTE. But the demos here are just going to show kind of that live first call. We did our live, first live first call with Verizon in Providence, Rhode Island about a month back, and so you're going to see some of that here today as well. Okay, so the handset we have right now, uh, which is also displayed up through a webcam on our monitor right here. So we are camping the 5G ultra wideband network. And so we're gonna try a couple downloads uh, over the 5G network itself. So we did a joint development of this application with Qualcomm. So we'll start off with just a 50 uh, megabyte file itself. Yeah, so right now it's a little bit congested. Uh, it's, you know, obviously, again, this is a pre-commercial network, which will be much quicker uh, once it's fully, you know, it takes about six months a year to commercialize. Now we're going to try to go up to a 250 megabyte file. And so that was a little bit quicker for us, so five times that. So definitely uh, be better. And actually, we'll try a one gigabyte file now, too. 
And as uh, Wallace is downloading, Chris mentioned a lot of different use cases, so we do expect, obviously, 5G is going to change and usher in a whole new uh, level of experience. It's much like LTE, and then we start to have things like Snapchat and Netflix and other things like that. We do expect with 5G, we'll see a whole other set of applications, such as great cloud gaming VR experiences, and maybe things like telemedicine. All right, so with that, um, I do want to just then showcase what we believe will be, once we do have full 5G, uh, the content downloads that we're actually expecting on a commercial network. So within 60 seconds, you can already download 60 songs on Spotify, 400 of your uh, pictures on, on Google Drive, as well as an entire season of like Game of Thrones or Stranger Things. Definitely in one minute enough content really to keep it busy for that eight hour flight from Maui back to Chicago. And if you have two minutes, you can actually download a couple 4K videos. Say those 4K videos are on average about 100 gigabytes in size, and even a 360 video as well. So definitely enough content then for you to go to not only from Maui to Chicago, but probably on your next plane trip as well. Uh, thank you for all of your time. You've all been upgraded to 5G. Congratulations. Uh, if you have any questions, Chris and I would love to uh, answer those. And we do have some support from Verizon as well if you have uh, specific questions. There. We have a couple of devices here if you'd like to come up and take pictures. We have um, actual pre-commercial 5G Moto Mods and some Moto Z3s as well. How much is the mod going to cost? Sorry? How much is the mod going to cost? The 5G Moto okay. Mod? So we haven't announced pricing yet. That's um, but we'd love to <laughs> Can you give me a ballpark? I can't give you a ballpark yet. We're, we're still in discussions, but uh, as soon as we get closer to launch, we'll let you know.